These wildfires have devastated the lands that are native to the Mescalero Apache tribe, and many have been forced to flee to shelters like the one that I'm at right now here in Alamogordo. As you can see, this is one of the many beds, and we caught up with a woman who opened up to us about how tough it was the moment that the fire was getting close to her home and she had to rush her way right here to Alamogordo. Where we live, we could just see the flames and the smoke and all of the slurry airplanes just flying real low t um, across our house and, um, you know, like, we're, we're scared. Scared for her home and her family. Sidonia so Malele rushed to Alamogordo the moment the fire was getting closer. Now she's here at the Mountain View Church, where Richard Hernandez serves as the associate pastor. It goes from tears and boogers to total breakdowns, and that's even us, you know, just trying to serve the community and be here for people. People away from their native land. Being a member of the Mescalero Apache tribe, how difficult is it for you to be here in Alamogordo away from your family? It's very emotional, just because, you know, it, it, you know, it's a beautiful land, and you know, it, this is where we, we come from, and this is, you know, what we grow what, as people, you know. We, we count on the land for, you know, food and shelter, and, you know, it's very emotional. Most of the shelters are in Roswell, New Mexico, which is pretty far away from Rui Doso. However, right here in the heart of Mescalero Apache land, in Mescalero itself, there is a community center that is housing dozens of people, tribal and non-tribal. And back in Alamogordo. They've been very helpful with everything, you know. They, they threw a birthday party for my nephew yesterday, so. Just some of the things that can make this shelter a bit more like home. So Donia also opened up to me about how difficult it's been for her and her loved ones to be away from family and others on the Mescalero Apache tribe. In fact, early this morning there was a crash right outside of Mescalero and she was quite emotional because she learned that it happened to be a family member that passed away in that crash. Reporting from Alamogordo, Paul C. Cala, ABC7. Let's get to storm track weather now and our first forecast from Chief Meteorologist Doppler, David Spielman. Doppler, a lot of talk about potential flooding in the Rudoso area. What can they expect? Yeah, they're getting a break now. And today, you know, most of the rain was generally light to moderate showers. 